So today's video is going to be on the topic of resellers and how I feel on the subject. So I'm a big collector. I collect a lot of things, like a bunch. I I am a physical person. Like the stuff that I spend my money on, I want to be able to touch, hold. Um, I want to be able to see value in the things that I buy. A lot of people buy stuff and they have nothing to show for it. Like I was I was in the army for a little bit and um, I just know how people, what people do with their money in the army. Um, they, they drink up a lot of their money. I'm not gonna lie, they party, drink, you know, stuff like that and with my money I like to buy things that I like so I am a big collector I collect things like believe it or not TVs I have a lot of TVs I collect posters like comic book posters video games anime and stuff like that I collect Pokemon products like Pokemon cards games stuff like that I collect Funko Pops and for what most people know me as I collect sneakers so I like to collect things now when we get into the topic of resellers people who buy things just to resell at a higher price um, it it can get uh, sometimes you can hurt some feelings like it's a sensitive subject is what I'm trying to say because you know people just feel differently about everything so if you're not agreeing with somebody you know you can get into arguments real quick and people can feel some sort of way and all of that and that's fine like I mean I can I'm able to debate and to go back and forth with people who disagree with me and it be no issue I mean like you're gonna think what you what you think and I'm gonna think what I think, and that's that. It's not nothing to get mad about, get mad over, and um, you know, fight, cry, fuss, all that. Like we can agree to disagree. It's it's okay. Um, me personally, I hate resellers. Hate them. I hate them. And other people, you know, some people like resellers. I'm gonna assume the only people that like resellers are resellers because you know they're making some sort of profit for it me on the other hand being a real collector i hate resellers so when i'm trying to buy something such as um a pokemon card a funko pop or a sneaker i want to pay retail price simple as that just like any of us would just like a reseller would they would want to pay retail they don't want to pay some crazy amount for a product when they know it's this amount um resellers they only buy with the purpose to resell that product to someone else for a higher price so me this is the example I use so people can just understand what reselling is. People be like, oh, well, you know, they just making their money and you get it how you live and all of that, which, okay, I get, I get it, I understand it, but still, I don't have to like it. Yes, I understand it, you're, you're about making a dollar, but I still don't have to like it, and that's, that's just my opinion. I don't have to like it. Just like you can't force anyone to like or dislike something just because you don't like it. That doesn't mean everybody else has to dislike or like it. But people like to say, oh, well, I'm making my bread. I'm making my money, you know, blah, blah, blah. So this is the example I use. This is what reselling is, to be honest. So this is like me going to Walmart, okay? I buy up, let's say, I go to Walmart and buy all of the ketchup. 
buy all the ketchup at Walmart. All right, because this is this is what people um, who sell sneakers do, and even Funko Pops. They'll do stuff like this. So I'll go to Walmart. I buy up all the ketchup. Okay, just buy all the ketchup. Then I go back to that Walmart, stand outside Walmart, and wait for people. Oh, you was in there looking for the ketchup? Well, I know they sold out in there, but I got ketchup right here, and I'll sell it to you for $40. And you like, what? The same ketchup that's retail at $2, you gonna sell to me for 40 no, no, that is what reselling is. You see how crazy that shit sound? That's exactly what it is. It's just a different product, but that's exactly what reselling is. There are people who will buy some shit up on release date, stand outside and wait for people they know who came for that product and try to resell it to you for a price four, five, six, seven times the price. This has actually happened to me one time. Um, when I first moved to Virginia, I put in for the raffle for the 11s that came out in 2017 at Spotsylvania Town Center Foot Locker. So, I don't care. I'm putting them on blast. This happened to me in 2017 in December for the re release of the 11s. So I won the raffle, right? I didn't know that I won the raffle because they called me while I was at school. So I missed the phone call. So some places, if you miss the call, they'll just go to the next person. What I didn't know was that at this particular Foot Locker, even though I missed the call, I could still go the day of release and claim them. So I go there on the day of release and I ask about the 11s. And there was, um, you know, some employees standing there. And there was this one guy who was like sitting on the bench. And I asked if they had some 11s. And he left. And he was like, no, but if you come at like I think noon if anybody hadn't picked them up you can come you can come claim them if if the person if the people who uh won the raffle hadn't came to pick them up at a certain time that I can come pick them up so I wait around for noon to come and then I go back in to see if I could buy a pair and they were all sold out of course they were all sold out and then I go out to, I just, I'm in the mall. I think right when I walk out, this guy asked me if I want to buy a pair. He asked, um, I'm like, yeah, I wear a 10 and a half. He just so happened to have the exact same size that I needed. So he charges me like, like 50, 50 bucks above retail. And me wanting the shoe real bad, I pay the 50 bucks. He pulls the shoe out. On the shoe box, stapled, is a raffle ticket with my name on it. And I'm like, damn, that's that's my shoe. And he was like, what you mean? I'm like, that's my fucking name on the ticket. And he like, oh, that ain't got nothing to do with me and blah, blah, blah. Which is true, it didn't. But I'm pissed now because... I just came in here and asked y'all, did y'all have any more of the shoe? Y'all told me no. Y'all didn't ask my name. Y'all didn't ask my size or anything like that. Y'all just said, if anybody didn't come claim them, then you could come claim them. And that guy that was sitting there waiting, that was the motherfucker that I, I bought the shoe for at 50 bucks above retail. So I'm guessing that's their homeboy or some shit like that. And so I go back in there to complain, like, what the fuck y'all got going on in here? Because, I mean, you can't, y'all ain't supposed to be doing some shit like that. I'm assuming this y'all homeboy, y'all let this motherfucker wait 
to buy my shoe. And I, I still got that fucking box with my name stapled on it. Anyway, I'm like, what the fuck y'all got going on in here? Like, y'all doing some real shady shit because why did I fucking just buy my my shoe for 50 bucks more than retail from, from the motherfucker that was sitting in here on the bench with y'all? Some motherfucker come, some little short motherfucker come running out. Man, there's this dude on IG. I added him. I don't be on IG, though. But I need to look through my friend list. I added him because he was recording the incident of me about to fight this motherfucker in Foot Locker. So this dude arguing with me in Foot Locker talking about I wasn't uh, I wasn't there and just all this bullshit. And when I had clearly came and talked to these people, clearly came and talked to these people. And I'm like, mother, like we about to fight, like throw hands for real. I'm calling him a bitch. I'm calling his girl a bitch. Just so I, he could get mad enough to try to put his hands on me, so I could just beat his ass. Cause I, all I need you to do is touch me first. I just I really wanted to beat the fuck out of him because for one, I was already pissed that I just bought my sneakers for fifty dollars more than retail, and then two, you coming up in here telling me some shit that happened didn't happen, telling me I didn't come at the right time and this and that. Then come to find out. This motherfucker don't even work at the Foot Locker. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm arguing with an employee telling me that I didn't come in here when I know I did. And then this nigga's not even fucking an employee. But he walking off behind the counter. He in the back and shit. So, yeah, that's why I thought he was fucking an employee. He's all behind the register in the back where the shoes at and all this. I don't, I don't know what the fuck they got going on. I really don't, because they let, I guess, homeboy buy my sneakers, and then you got this other random-ass person who arguing with y'all's customers who don't even work here, who behind the register, and in the back. I'm getting pissed just all over, just thinking about the shit. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, I'm real, I'm real life mad that that was the only time that I've ever bought anything above retail like that like on day of release but um that's how i feel about resellers like because i'm a real life collector i real life collect things now i'm i've never sold a pair of sneakers anyway i've bought shoes off people and that's happened maybe like three or four times because i really don't even like used shit but I wanted the sneakers that bad I got them but I like shit brand new even though maybe it's like new and I can get it for a cheaper price because it's like new I'd rather just no I'd rather be the first first owner and the only owner I don't sell sneakers I don't sell sneakers now as far as you know Funko Pops, I know a lot of people who do the same shit with Funko Pops. They'll buy a whole bunch of Pops, the exclusive ones, to sell at three, four, five times the price. Now, I may, I may buy multiple Funko Pops that I'm able to get, not to sell, but to use as trade bait. Like, I got this exclusive Pop, and you got like three or four Pops that I do want. I'll trade you this one pop for those pops. And I would do the same if I was able to get my hands on a duplicate pair of sneakers. I would use that for trade bait. Not to sell for five times the price, but to use as a trade for another shoe that I may want. Or another Funko Pop that I'd want. So if I'm buying multiple of a product, I'm buying it solely for trade bait. That's it. I do not buy it to try to bust people over the head because I'm a collector and I know I don't like that shit. I'm not about to pay you three times the price for this product when I know it's this price. No, I'm not doing it. Go go talk to somebody else. I'm not I'm not that one. You're not you're not gonna get me. That's not who I am. Go go talk to another sucker. I'm not paying it. I'm not paying it. But that is how I feel on um resellers like i real life 
hate resellers. Like, I don't fuck with them. I don't like them. I troll if I if I see if I see them on Facebook or whatever platform I see them on. I really don't like them. And I'm sure we can all understand the ketchup analogy. That's exactly what it is. I'm sure those resellers is not about to buy a fucking forty dollar bottle of ketchup, no matter how bad they wanted the ketchup for their hot dog. They ain't about to do it. They ain't about to do it. They might because there are people who buy these products from the resellers at double, triple the price. I mean, it's sad to say, but some some people do. That's why people are still reselling because people are buying. So, but that's just my personal opinion on resellers. I, I fucking hate their guts. Just I just hate them. So that's my story on um, resellers. If y'all got any stories, I'd love to hear them. Um, you know what? I probably wouldn't because it just make my blood boil. Like just the shit that people do and the prices they pay or the prices that the resellers, you know, are offering for the the product. It's just. It's crazy. I, I fucking... I don't even know how many times to say it, but... I... I hate resellers. I hate them. I wish they would just... Die. <laughs> Let me not say that. I don't even know if I could say this, that on YouTube. Even though I'm joking... I'm not joking when I say I fucking hate them. I don't want them to die. But I don't... I, I do hate them. Yeah. I do hate them. But, um... That's all I got for this video. Now I'm about to speak on something else that I find pretty dumb, which is buying um, buying physical video games versus digital video games. So I'm about to make that video next in the driver's seat of my car. And um, I guess I'll see y'all next time. So, one last part I wanted to add to the video. Um, I did go back to that Foot Locker the next year for another pair of 11s. Hadn't won a raffle or anything like that. And two of the employees who were in there the year before, when they fucked me over on the sneakers, they remembered me. Because I asked one, I asked, do y'all have any more 11s? And he said, he said, hold on, give me a sec. He went to go talk to the other guy. He's he's a bigger dude. Like, he's a bigger dude. I heard him say, um, hey, that guy that was here last year for the 11s, he's here asking about the 11s. I hadn't won a raffle or anything like that, but they gave me a pair. Not gave me. I was able to buy a pair of 11s that year not winning a raffle or anything like that so I guess they was trying to correct their their they was trying to right their wrong so they did do that I can at least say that the next year they kind of looked out and I was able to get that year's pair of 11s as well so I mean that's that <laughs> 